Grapes can be eaten in many different ways, but I'll show you one of the ways my grandma makes them and they are always an awesome treat at the end of the Sunday meal. First, let's prepare one of the fillings for them. In a bowl, crumble fresh cottage cheese into small pieces. To it, add 100 grams of sour cream and mix them well together. If you notice that the mixture is still too dry, add an additional spoonful of sour cream. To the mixture, grate in half a teaspoon of lemon zest and mix. If you grate it like I do here, it's easier to see where and what you're grating. This way you will avoid the white bitter part of the lemon rind. For a bit of a kick, add in 3 full teaspoons of rum raisins. But if you're not a fan or have other restrictions, you can leave them out or replace them with cranberries or other dried fruits. Crack in one medium-sized egg and mix it all well together so it becomes a smooth spread. Now it's time to fill the grapes. If you want to see how I make my own, click the notification up top or the link down below in the description. Onto each crepe, spread around 1-2 to two tablespoons of the cottage cheese mixture. When rolling, you can just be simple about it and roll it up, but I like to fold in the sides as well, so that nothing can escape while it bakes. Fold in the left and the right side, and roll it up. Place the filled and rolled crepe with seam side down into a baking dish lined with parchment paper. As we are rolling out and filling the crepes, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. You can also fill the crepes with any jam of your preference. I used apricot jam this time. Try to place the stuffed crepes tightly into your baking dish. As the last step before baking, we will pour over a special sauce that will bind it all together. In a pitcher, combine together two medium-sized eggs and 150 grams of sour cream. Mix everything well together until you get a smooth and delicate mixture. To it, Add 2 teaspoons of sugar and mix well. Pour everything over your rolls and spread it around with a spoon. Now place your baking dish into the oven for 15 minutes. Once baked, take them out and you can serve them right away or you can let them cool slightly. Serve them together with fresh fruit, whipped cream or just leave them as they are. They're delicious in any form. Have you ever had anything similar before? If you have, comment down below what did you stuff your crepes with. Did you enjoy this video? Give it a like and subscribe for more delicious bites from my kitchen. Until next time, Bye-bye!